Well, hello, my YouTube fellas and gals. So, do I have a story to share with you with this sunny fun time mail? <clears throat> so, when you take your whatnot on board meetings and you become a seller on whatnot, they tell you just to run everything. You can ask, you know, if people want to see certain things too. You have an auction tab that you can line up things under by number or by name, however you want to do it. And people can come in. The run next doesn't always work. Like if you go down the list and order and then some, so I don't use it. But if people come in and they do request, I have mine done by lot number so they can tell me what they're looking for. And then I can show them in the auction and run it. Or you can, you know, I go straight down the list and I announce it every time I do my lives that I will go straight down the list. But if you give a request, I'll stop and do that request for you because that's what you're supposed to do as a seller. So, I go into a seller stream for my first time. And I saw a number of something that I liked. And you guys know I'm picky. Like, I, I like specific things. I don't buy Gucci just because it says Gucci. You know what I mean? I have to like something. It doesn't matter what the designer name is. It has to look, you know, resonate with me by what it looks like. That's how I even pick my journals. So, I saw this wallet. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that is so me. For, for even a designer to come up with because I, you know, guys know I've never really been into Lux because I never even knew about Louis Vuitton and all these Lux things until I came to YouTube and started seeing the stuff. And I thought it was nice, you know, but I wasn't really a big fan of the brown. You know, I mean, not that it's not pretty or anything. It's just with me... I'm picky because you know the people that stood me the longest. My favorite color is blue. I love blue. So, when I saw this wallet out of a thousand something items, I thought, oh my gosh. So, I put the request in. And I was told by the seller. First, I could see the seller was reading it in the live stream, but they ignored my question. They ignored it. Didn't answer. I put it in a couple times, like two or three times. So finally, I sent him a private message too and even said, I'm looking for this and I print screened it and I even showed them the style and I'm like, I'm really looking for a wallet that looks like this. So then because I kept picking, the, the seller finally comes out and says he can't find it. Well, first off, you shouldn't have an auction set up. I mean, any any type of selling you do, your stuff should be lined up right beside you. Whether you get a post-it note stuck to it with a number or you just have it lined up where you're is. I have always lined my items up, whether I've sold on whatnot or YouTube, and have showed and presented the products. And to me, that should have been a warning sign. But I went ahead and, you know, I like giving chances. So, then, another person came in requesting the same wallet, and I see that it's getting more hearts, and I'm thinking, oh crap, I'm going to have competition, especially since it's an auction site. So, this other guy, because then I was teasing him, and I was putting the boxing glove emojis in on, and I go, oh, we're going to go at it, because that's the wallet I want, too. So, then, later on, come to find out... I was told that one of the other associates in this business pulled this particular wallet for a mystery game. So then I go over to the mystery game and I start watching it and I've seen like two full mystery games. We're talking hours of watch time here, people. Like hours of watching and waiting. So I never see it. So then I go back over to the other one because they have two different sites. They auction on one's like a mystery game and the other's regular. And I was told, well, it'll show up because that's where it's at. And finally it did. And and I couldn't afford, I, I didn't have the money at the time because I didn't know which one it was going to show up in because I'm a payday person. 
in, in the off, we paid it. I don't always have the money. So it was sold. So then I said, well, if you ever come across any other like it, and you know, because they do one, one, one sell they do, they show you the item and then they sell each, each one. The other's a mystery game where you pick a number and then hopefully you get it or not. I like the one better that you can actually pick what you want, even though the mystery games are fun too. But for something that you solidly want, I would rather go to where I can pick it. So I went online and I searched for this wallet. I have been looking for it. I looked for it on eBay. I looked for it just on Louis Vuitton because it is a Louis Vuitton wallet that caught my eye. And I just couldn't afford it because it was like 1500 And I do like the mystery games because you don't have to pay that high. You know, you can get it for a cheaper price. But it's just at that point, I didn't have the money when they had it in the mystery game. So I said, would you please look out for this? So in the meantime, a troll comes in one day. And I defended the guy who was, you know, running the show and said something about, you know, I don't, you know, people that sell fake items ruin it for the good ones. And I pulled out my paddle. You know, I have my little granny paddle to spank the troll. Well, I got banned for 24 hours and I defended they took my comment the wrong way and so I messaged them and I'm like what the heck I was defending you and I think they thought I was accusing them of selling fakes but I wasn't I hadn't even purchased from them yet to know if they sold fakes or not so anyways, I sucked that up even. Sucked up the first time that, you know, my wallet was sold and I didn't have the money. Sucked up the second time of being banned, which was uncalled for. The same seller has people coming and asking questions. And yeah, you need to answer. You, you can't just ban people for asking certain questions. I would just calmly say it. And then if they persisted, you know, trolling, then that's a different story. And sometimes it is hard to have patience, I admit it, because, you know, it just is. So, in the meantime, I'm called fam, modded a couple times in the stream, because I really like hanging out with these people. I got to know, you know, people that's been with them long term, and I, and I love the stream. Like, I have a blast, and I'm not saying that these people don't do nice things, because I will never take for granted when somebody does something nice, because I appreciate when people do nice things for others, not even just me, for anybody. So, you know, I have been blessed to have crossed paths with many sellers between YouTube and whatnot. And there are a lot of even YouTubers that, and, and you know, all the sellers get to know the people that purchase from them. They get to know their favorite colors and different things that they like. You know, you guys have seen videos where I have been spoiled with horses and different things I like because that's what a good seller does is they get to know the people around them. I even have a list on whatnot of people looking for certain things in a book and if I come across it, I will tag them to let them know I have it because that's what you do as a seller. You know, you, you, you don't want to just, I'm not just about business. I also am friendly, and that's just me. So, I turn around and I, and I showed the picture again and said, please, if you get this wallet in, let me know, because I would rather purchase them off of somebody that I have gotten to know than a stranger. So, the wallet comes around a second time, and they did it again. I happen to take my dog outside to go to the bathroom because, you know, that happens. And I had been waiting for like three hours, had sent a picture again that same day. When this comes up, please, you know, they, they should know to let me know or at least say, hey, is Tammy around? Message me back and say, hey, we got the wallet in the second time. Would you like the chance to purchase it? Because they will tell you. All you got to do is message us. Let us know what you're looking for. We'll make sure you get your item. And I trusted them. I trusted this particular person to do that because of hanging out with them for hours and just being greeting in their stream, you know, trying to keep an upbeat. And when you put that kind of time in, it's not like people owe you anything, but you would think 
they would be nice because a lot of people are. You know, there are a lot of sellers that are. If they know that you can't afford something, they'll let you wait till payday and they'll hold it and then put it in the buy it now for you. I've come across some really awesome sellers that do that on whatnot. And I don't expect everybody to do it because I know people want their money. But at the same time, when you've given your time and they call you fam and friend, you would think they would be that type of person. Well, the wallet sold again. And I got a message saying, I think your wallet got sold. And I'm like, what? So I went and looked and there it was in the sold three wallets down. I had just missed it after sitting there for hours waiting. And they knew I wanted it. So I was done. Like I was devastated because it's the only piece I have ever asked for in this particular stream from the beginning of showing up in their stream. And it's been like four months later waiting for this wallet. It still didn't get it until just now. <laughs> so I went online and I did some more research and I went down some different sites, you know, looking because, you know, they have Poshmark, they have all kinds of different sites. And all I can say is you lost out on a good customer and you lost out on a good business deal because of what you did to me. And, and do, do you not realize as a seller how some of these things are important to certain people when they're looking for certain things, especially when they take the time to go through a thousand items to pick them out? That's a lot of work for even a buyer to do, not just on the seller part. And it is stressful to a buyer when you're counting on something because you believe in a seller and then they let you down. Not once, but twice. So I ended up finding this and my husband seen how upset I was. And he's like, if you can find it for a decent price, buy it. Because, you know, he knew how much I really wanted this wallet. And it's really the only thing I asked for majorly from this seller with a designer name. And I cannot wait to unbox this for you all. Because I am so excited about this. My husband, this is part of my Christmas present, so I'm getting Christmas a little early. And you'll see why I love it so much. The people that know me. When this came in the mail, I was looking at the box. And I'm like, where's this from? Because it came from Japan. But it's it was through an eBay seller. And they, they authenticate, of course, that it is a Louis Vuitton and all that. So I have everything with it. So it comes in the box. So this is the grand opening. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have been waiting for this baby for months. And, you know, I'm not always a materialistic person. But when my eye catches something, and I don't always get everything I want, but I really wanted this. You get your papers with it. And here's your envelope. With a little booklet. Of things about it. The eBay bag is awesome. I want to thank so much the auction site that had this because it was an auction place I got this from. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. This is like the first print I have been like, oh my gosh I was floored when I saw this the first time love the blue love the black I just I cannot get over this wallet and how gorgeous it is so after the longest wait and of course here's the authenticity guarantee and the stuff that you get with it I am so happy that my wait is finally over and I don't have to worry about anything else to do with this wallet. Open it up. And it's got such a smooth zipper. It's got the bag with it. It's a Louis Vuitton dust bag. And inside. 
made in France. So beautiful. Look at this wallet. This is gorgeous, and I got it for a really good price because even used, this wallet is like over a thousand dollars. In some places, $1,500, but I didn't pay that. I got a very good deal. Very good deal. One that I could actually afford. So, just saying, I do want to thank you for the time that I had because sometimes people cross our paths for a reason and a season. But do better with your customer service. And do better with your customers that have questions and that do come and ask you for things. Because you shouldn't leave people wait like that. And I just, I love this wallet. It's gorgeous. And I'm so thankful that I have an awesome husband who actually got this for me as the beginning of Christmas. And I will so cherish this wallet because of it. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And if anything, I hope you learn from both sides, as a customer and as a seller. This is not meant to be bashing. It's heartfelt that when a person takes the time to come to you, just like a seller takes the time to come to a customer, it all matters. And I, and I feel like some people brush people off and they shouldn't. And it's like, you really shouldn't. You know, I came from a day where a handshake meant everything. Now you have to have receipts to prove everything because you can't, people can't keep their word anymore. Some can't. So when somebody asks you for something that you have, please be mindful that they're taking the time to want to even shop with you in the first place. When there are many other sellers that sell this kind of stuff. You know, and I mean, it, it's just heartfelt that I just felt very let down by this seller and it's a seller I really like so you know I, I, I'm hit or miss now because the trust bond has been broken but I don't know I just hope in the future things are done better I don't know if they will be or not but I hope they are because it's, this was so worth the wait, but not the way that I had to wait. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If anything, I hope you all learned something. And it's not about negativity, so you don't need to leave a negative comment. But just know that it's just, you know, the way the world is, people need to be more respectful and mindful of others. And with that... Whatever time zone you're in, I hope you have it a great win. And thank you all for sharing that watch this. Me opening something I've waited for. And I love this wallet. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye.